Hello ladies and gentlemen, I've been asked many times before to do a video about the uh, patch notes and I've always kind of passed it off, but after seeing this one, it's kind of short, so I figured I'd give it a shot and see what everyone thinks. So this will be my opinions of the patch notes, what I think, and uh, thoughts and expectations, I guess. Uh, looking at the new god whose name I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce until I hear it properly said, uh, he looks rather... Rather strong, not OP. Uh, testing obviously will be the uh, determining factor of that. I'm not going to be putting footage of Bart and them in because I don't. I'm not doing that. Uh, but just looking at it, uh, his passive seems pretty good. Uh, going to be fairly weak against um, well anyone who hunters and melee basic oriented gods. So anyone who builds a lot of attack speed. Uh, he's going to be pretty, his passive is going to be pretty useless uh, unless in a team fight or he's able to stay underneath a tower. Uh, obviously I'll be able to say more tomorrow once I get to play him. Uh, throwback is pretty cool. He like belly bumps a uh, minion and shoots it off as a projectile. It seems to have pretty good clear as well. Uh, so we might see him in the solo lane, uh, possibly jungle. Uh, but his knockback does not affect big minions, so like you'd have to hit the minion on the side into the other two minions. We'll see how it goes, but it, he does seem like he might make a pretty good solo lane god. Uh, probably not a mid laner, but solo lane probably. Uh, his number uh, two is... Uh, it doesn't have a lot of damage, so... Yeah, that's that's the big thing to note is... Like, 200 cap with 50% scaling. So say you did hit maximum of uh, 800 uh, magic, which is entirely possible. Uh, you'll do 50% of that, so you'll be hitting fairly hard, I guess, actually. Uh, hitting for 610 before armor, or resistance, whatever you want to call it. So that's, pre that's pretty good. Uh, but it is a 1.5 second time, and you can't cancel out of it. Uh, and you're not CC immune, so you can be stunned... Uh, at least it didn't show that you were CC immune. Uh, I could be wrong, but for the most part, it doesn't look like it. Good, it said. Um, but yeah, uh, used in conjunction with his mighty yawn, uh, basically is a mez very similar to Apollo, uh, except if this one gets broken early, they get slowed, uh, scaling up, and so yeah, you could easily pick up your one get or your uh, three put two points into it which will give you a two second uh mez right and then you use your groggy strike your number one or number two excuse me which will then brute them so you'll put him into a mez into a root um and then yeah that's pretty pretty much it uh so that's pretty pretty powerful um obviously the mez does no damage uh, it just increases in the length and the slow. Uh, length of the mez and the length of the slow. Uh, so pretty interesting. And then his ultimate is he knocks somebody way up in the air. And when they come down, they do an AoE damage, which is actually a lot of damage. Uh, so judging by what you're going to want to do watching Bart and them, you're going to want to knock somebody up and then use your mez. And then move around to the side. Right? Maybe? Uh, yeah, actually that would work. Uh, how long is the snare? 1.5 seconds? Uh, yeah, actually you might need to put more points into your Mighty Yawn. I forgot, it doesn't say the actual time. But uh, So what you could do is you could knock someone up in the air. They're up in the air for 2.2 seconds. They can't beads out of it or anything. And then walk to the side, groggy strike... If you have time, I'm assuming you might, uh, and then that will root them, right? And so then they're rooted. The guy comes down and hits them. They're slowed, rooted. That actually seems like a very potent combo if you can pull it off in lower level play and higher level play. Probably not. Uh, they'll probably beads the the mez while he's up in the air and get away. But who knows? Uh, anyway, that he lands, he does a lot of damage, and he does a big knockback. So. Very interesting, especially coupled with, like, Hercules or uh, anyone who has the ability tier even to move somebody. 
so that you can position them because it's a really big knockback. Uh, but that's him. We'll look at him more tomorrow or today, I guess, because it's... I don't know. This, this is probably going to come out very soon after I record it. Uh, player icons, blah, blah, blah. I don't care. Uh, Scarlet Coven Isis looks pretty awesome. Uh, another skin for him. High seas, blah, blah, blah. Don't care. Uh, custom matches. That looks really cool. Uh, you're able to actually have a queuing system. Or not a queuing system, but a... Uh, What's the word I'm looking for? Basically, you're able to see all the games that have been made, and you can set it to private, or you just set a password. But people can click on it and then enter the password, so that's kind of cool. Um, some new player stuff, that's cool. Uh, UI fixes, HUD, blah, blah, blah. Don't care, don't care, don't care. Um, that's good. Still don't care, but that's good. Uh, don't care, don't care, don't care. Okay, so none of that is anything. Uh, so this, this is big. This is a little section right here. It's kind of big. So we're looking at, um, maybe a slight shift in the meta. We're definitely going to see keen size not as popular anymore. Wait, what? So they, they basically make keen size keen blades. <laughs> wow, okay. That's actually a big nerf I didn't even realize. So let's start at the top though. Reducing the price. Not bad, not bad. That's good. Uh, definitely going to make that item a little bit more uh, tempting. And then that goes into Soul Trap, which is cheaper as well. Um, then Book of Thought is getting a huge buff. This is a massive buff. For Book of Thoth and Soul Reaver. Uh, mainly Book of Thoth though. That makes that item... Oh hell, what is it? 600 more gold? Six, 700 more gold than Doom Orb? And it's definitely better than Doom Orb. So we're going to be seeing Book of uh, Thoth booked up a lot. Just because of the pure... The cost alone. I mean, they're knocking almost uh, 400 gold off. Uh, 350. Uh, gold off of it. This one, not quite as much, but that's still a pretty good buff. Uh, definitely going to make Soul Reaver a little bit more popular with the kids. You know, the cool kids. Uh, fixed eye, whatever. Um, some fixings of that, that's good. Uh, accuracy, that's cool. Uh, Dubus fixed his lore, woo. Uh, Apollo! No, nothing important. Uh, well, you know, not exactly important. A uh, slight buff to Artemis here. That's good. A little bit of buff. Uh, gonna make her a little bit better against uh, Sun Wukong and uh, anyone who gets pulled through by an Arachne. So that's good. A uh, Bastet nerf. 5% uh, nerf to her passive. That's pretty interesting. A little bit of a buff, I guess. I mean, it's a fix. I uh, fixed uh, that and the cooldown. Oh, wow, that's a nerf. So they're basically making it, which I don't like. I hate this. I think this is terrible. Uh, not because of that. I just I hate flat cooldowns because it feels like you get less out of an ability. But that's good. Big chalk nerf. Massive chalk nerf. Uh, definitely going to make him a lot less uh, overpowered. Which I don't think he was, but... Uh, definitely going to make him not as scary as he was. Uh, kind of sucks that I just put a chalk guide out. Uh, but, you know, we'll see. They if it's, if it's too much or if they feel like, you know, it's not making it worth it. He's still going to be CC immune, so it's going to be great for initiation. Uh, Kronos just fixed some stuff. Uh, slight monkey buff, uh, making it so that two seconds after you hit the last god or whatever, uh, you're still able to teleport, so that's cool. Uh, that teleport's kind of good. Uh, I always forget that you can do it, so hey, there's something for me. So something about me. Isis, yeah, whatever. Uh, Mercury buff. 
slight, yes, but Mercury buff nonetheless. His ultimate will now cause the Disorient to be just a little bit longer. Uh, not that I feel like he really needs it, but, you know, what can you do? Uh, nothing important. So slight Nemesis nerf, uh, increasing the cooldown of her Slice and Dice by 3 seconds. Uh, Retribution, we're going to be seeing some uh, some love or some hate, however you want to put it, coming up in the next uh, patch or so. And a slight nerf to her ultimate. Uh, the buff will not last quite as long, so maybe we won't see her in tournaments quite as much. Nuwa. Let's see. Okay, so basically they're, they're buffing her... Uh, very slightly, right? Um, but you're going to be able to flame strike and auto attack faster. So that is a that is indeed a slight buff. Uh, and then they fixed an issue with her uh, flame strike not dealing maximum damage at close range. So uh, overall, a, a slight buff to Nuwa. Odin, apparently that sucks. Oh, okay. Uh, slight nerf. Slight, slight nerf. Uh, actually, I say slight. That's a pretty good nerf. Um, you're looking at top end only being two protection, but yeah, ten protection at top end. Uh, not not insane, but that's it's a little bit uh, to hope you know alleviate some of the annoyingness that he has early on, uh, and the slows being scaling now, which is great. But it's still going to be ten percent less than it is, so that is pretty awesome uh she Scala is getting again more issues with Sun Wukong uh so they're slight nerf to Sun Wukong I guess to win up against her and against Artemis we have a minor Thor buff uh making it so that his projectile travels faster so that's pretty cool 20 20 seconds or whatever milliseconds whatever unit of measurement they use for that um, so you're able to teleport faster, deal damage faster, etc, etc. Uh, and his ultimate should be a little bit easier to hit, so that's pretty good. And then the one that I think everyone has been wanting is a tier nerf. Um, well obviously we'll see how it goes, but the healing reduction... Not bad, 15 off of his top end on that. But the big part is the healing from his physical power is being scaled now. So that is a 20% uh, nerf. Well, you lose 20%. So that's pretty huge. We'll see how that goes. Hopefully, it will make Tyr a little less valuable, but not completely stomping him out. Uh, Vamana. Oh, Vamana. God Hunter, you have ruined him. Uh, he no longer gets a uh, reduced cooldown on his ultimate, so he won't be able to cast his ultimate uh, as often as he would normally. So that is definitely a nerf. Pretty nice. Uh, Ymir. Well, poor Ymir. They didn't fix him. Maybe they did this time. And last we have Zhang Kui, who is getting a little bit of a buff uh, with all the recent nerfs to him. Uh, we're seeing a little buff. See how this goes. Exorcism, his heal slash burst damage is now on a lower cooldown. I think it's equal to that of his uh, card paper throw thingamajigger. Uh, so that should... Should make him a little bit easier to play. You can throw your card out and then suck it in faster. Just sounds rather dirty. But hey, that is the patch notes. That is my look at them, my thoughts. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, they're pretty good. I wouldn't mind seeing a few a few other things like, um, you know, Shibalanke buff. Would be nice. Especially if they made it so that his darts pass through targets. Even if they reduce the damage as it passes through, sort of like, um, I don't know. I know someone else has it. I just can't think of who. Uh, but hit the first target and then deal less damage to the second target, etc., etc. Uh, that would be nice, but hey, whatever. I uh, wouldn't mind actually seeing a real new wall buff. Even though I feel she's fairly powerful, I don't think in competitive play anyone's ever going to play her because she's such a late carry. I wouldn't mind seeing a Kronos buff uh, to his early game and maybe a slight reduction to his late game. That's just... Eh. 
Um, anyone else? Anyone else? Anyone else? No. I mean, Anubis, I feel like, is a god that needs a buff, but I can't see how they could buff him without changing abilities. Same with Arachne. Um, you know, she's a pub stomp in early, but in, or in, you know, low level play, but in high level play, she's useless. I don't see a way that you could properly fix that. Uh, I think we're going to have a lot of changes coming with Keen Size being uh, nerfed. And yes, this is definitely a nerf. And that was a car. Uh, that is definitely a big nerf. You're losing the 20 extra damage, right? You are... You're dealing... This is going to make it so that you're... Oh, man. I have a feeling Kali's going to need a buff now. Because without King Size, she was useless. And I'm not sure if this is... Well, let's maximum... I don't know. We'll see. Uh, maybe DM will give us... Oh, DM's gone, isn't he? Huh. Well, no, wait. This will be after the thing. So, yeah, it'll be fine. Hell, what am I saying? I won't be able to play the new god until next week. Well, balls. I forgot about that. Whoops. Oh, well. Um, yeah, overall, it feels pretty good. A uh, few little changes. A little tweaking. We'll see where it goes from there. Next week will hopefully be... Or, I guess, the week after... Uh, will be an even bigger patch, and I'm definitely looking forward to having another new tank. I uh, wasn't a fan of Geb. I feel like he's kind of boring in my opinion, but hey. This guy looks a little sleepy, but uh, pretty interesting. His ultimate is fairly cool. Or, excuse me, his passive. Oh, that's cool. I didn't even realize this, so... Plus one for every level uh, after five. So at max, you'll have ten hits. That's cool. Hmm. Hmm. Could be interesting. And cooldown does not affect your uh, thing there. So that's something to know. But anyway, guys, that is the uh, the patch notes of the new god and all the other stuffles that is happening. We'll see if they add anything else between now and next. Guessing Tuesday? Wednesday, I mean. Excuse me. Uh, maybe, maybe not. Who knows? But definitely looking forward to it. And, well, guys, that's all. Thank you for watching. Let me know how you guys feel about this. As I said, it's a little different, not used to it, and it's actually a lot longer than I wanted it to be. But hey, whatevs. Thank you guys for watching, and as always, have a good day.